Good day and welcome back to Iran's Daily News Feed. Iran's talks with six war powers aimed at reviving the Tata 2015 nuclear deal will resume by the end of November, its top nuclear negotiator said on Wednesday, as Western concerns over the Islamic Republic's nuclear advance grows. After meeting EU officials in Brussels, Ali Bagheri wrote on Twitter, had a very serious and constructive dialogue with Enrique Mora on the essential elements for successful negotiations. We agreed to start negotiations before the end of November. But recently, EU diplomats have said Tehran is not ready to resume nuclear deal talks in Vienna. EU diplomats have said they are concerned Tehran's new negotiating team may make new demands beyond the scope of what had already been agreed. Meanwhile, the new president of the Islamic Republic, Ibrahim Raisi, has so far refused to resume indirect talks with the United States in Vienna on both sides, returning to compliance with the deal under which Iran curbed its nuclear program in return for economic sanctions relief. Omid Ahmadi Safa, a young Iranian kickboxer who had traveled to Italy for a tournament, has left his hotel and reportedly gone to Germany to apply for political asylum. According to Persian media, Omid has received permission from Tehran's Boxing Federation to travel to Italy where he left his hotel and never returned. Several Iranian athletes in the past two years have defected from Iranian national teams and sought asylum in other countries. Some took part in the year's Olympic in Tokyo as non-state athletes. One of the main issues forcing Iranian sports people to defect is Tehran's policy of not allowing them to compete against Israelis. A court in the Netherlands convicted an Iranian refugee Wednesday of alleged preparing and financing terror attacks in his homeland targeting the Tehran government and its supporters. The 42-year-old man was sentenced to four years imprisonment. The man whose identity was not released in the line with Dutch privacy rules was linked to a so-called Arab Struggle Movement, a separatist group in the Orish Ahvaz, the capital of Khuzestan province in southwestern Iran. The man is from the Iranian city Ahvaz, but he was tried in Rotterdam Street Court because he has lived in the Netherlands since being granted residency as a refugee. The court said in a statement that the defendant was in contact with separatists who planned and carried out attacks in Iran, including torching banks and also targeting people linked to the Iranian government. He discussed possible targets, offered financial supports, and urged separatists to make video recordings of attacks, the written judgment said. The court said through his action, the suspect played an important role in a criminal and terrorist organization whose goal was to support attacks in Iran. On Monday, October 25th, House Resolution 744 condemning the state-sponsored persecution of the Baha'i community of Iran was introduced in the United States House of Representatives. In a tweet, U.S. Representative Ted Dutch wrote, The Iranian regime has an egregious record of human rights violations against its people, including religious ethnic minorities like the Baha'is. This week, I introduced a bipartisan resolution condemning Iran's state-sponsored persecution of the Baha'i people. The resolution condemns the long-standing state-sponsored persecution of the Iranian Baha'i religious minority and calls on the Tehran government to immediately release the imprisoned or detain Baha'i and all other prisoners held solely on account of their religion to end its campaign of hate propaganda against the Baha'i and to reverse state-imposed policies denying Baha'is and members of other religious minorities equal opportunities to higher education, earning a livelihood due to process under the law and the free exercise of religious practices. More than 60% of Republicans have allegedly planned to use Trump's new social media network. The majority of Republicans say they plan to use Donald Trump's new social media platform, Truth Social, a new poll from the Morning Consult found. Trump, who was kicked off most social media networks in the wake of the 6th of January attack on the U.S. Capitol, announced the platform last week 
as an alternative to Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and YouTube, which he said was about his plan to stand up to the tyranny of big tech. A new company called Trump Media and Technology Group, TMTG, owns the company. The Morning Consult survey found that 63% of Republicans plan to use the site at least some of the time, but only 15% of all voters said they would use the platform a lot. The poll's findings are further evidence of Mr. Trump's stranglehold on the Republican Party. As the de facto leader of the GOP, his supporters are eager to follow him wherever he goes. And that was all for today. I'm Kate and thank you for the privilege of your time.